SUVs are really popular for a bunch of reasons, but one of the big ones is having lots of room for your stuff. When you fold down the back seats in some SUVs, they can fit a ton of things, and it's not like a pickup truck where your stuff is out in the open and can get messed up by bad weather. They have seats that fold flat, making it easy to switch between carrying passengers and cargo. In this video, we'll talk about 7 big SUVs that let you make more room for your stuff when you want to, and still have space up to 9 people, depending on the SUV you choose and how you arrange the seats. Now let's find out which heavy haulers can carry the most stuff from one place to another. Number 1. 2023 Chevrolet Suburban The new 2023 Chevrolet Suburban has a special type of rear suspension that makes it smooth to drive, and it has more space inside compared to the previous version. You can fit a lot of stuff in the back, around 70 cubic feet, which is almost 8 cubic feet more than the last Suburban. However, because the cargo area is quite high, it might be hard to lift heavy things in there depending on how tall you are. The regular 5.3 liter V8 engine works well with a 10 speed automatic transmission. The ride is comfortable, but if you go with the Premier trim, it comes with a different type of suspension that makes the ride even smoother. However, the Suburban isn't very agile when you're driving it. Inside the car, it's quiet and the buttons and switches are easy to use, except for the gear selector, which can be a bit tricky. Getting into the Suburban is a bit of a climb, and because of its tall front, it can be hard to see the road in front of you. Number 2. 2023 Ford Expedition the Expedition Max is the longer version of Ford's big three-row SUV. It's about 222 inches long, which is 12 inches longer than the regular Expedition, so it has more space inside and in the back for your stuff. You can fit a lot of things in there because it has 66 cubic feet of cargo space. The cabins of the Expedition SUVs become more luxurious as you move up the different models. The fanciest one is called the Platinum Trim, which comes with fancy leather seats and seats that can give you a massage. There's only one engine choice, a 3.5 liter turbo V6, which works with a 10-speed automatic transmission. This combination makes the car speed up easily. It gets about 16 miles per gallon on average. However, it's not very easy to handle and the ride is a bit bumpy. If you've been enjoying our picks so far, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Moving on to the next one. Number 3. 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe the big Tahoe SUV has a lot of room inside. It feels much bigger than smaller SUVs. It comes with three rows of seats and the seats in the second row can move back and forth. This makes it so that even adults can sit comfortably in the back row. The Tahoe's inside design also means that when you fold down the second and third rows of seats, you get a lot of space for your stuff. There's 25.5 cubic feet of space behind the third row, 72.6 cubic feet behind the second row, and a maximum capacity of about 123 cubic feet. The Tahoe has a special kind of back suspension that makes the ride more comfy, helps with handling, and gives more space in the third row of seats. It has a standard 5.3 liter V8 engine that's powerful, and it works with a smooth 10-speed automatic transmission. The ride is comfortable, but if you go for the Premier trim, it comes with special dampers that make the ride even smoother. The Tahoe is a bit slow to respond when you steer, but it feels secure. Number 4. 2023 Jeep Wagoneer Jeep brought back the famous Wagoneer name for its new, large luxury SUV with three rows of seats. The Wagoneer has a roomy cabin with three rows of seats and it can fit up to eight people, but if you choose the special second row seats, it can seat seven. When you fold down both rows of seats, you have more than 63 cubic feet of storage space. The third row bench seat can be folded flat so two kids can sit in the back while you carry longer things. The inside of the car looks fancy and comes with a lot of luxurious things as standard, like leather seats, front seats that can move in 12 different ways, cool interior lighting, and a climate control system for three different areas. The base engine is a strong 392 horsepower V8, and the fancier Grand Wagoneer has an even more powerful 471 horsepower V8. The Wagoneer gives a comfortable ride, especially with the air suspension, and it's really quiet. It handles okay, but isn't exceptional. The controls are easy to use and there's lots of places to store things and plug in USB devices. It comes with safety features like automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, and more. If the regular Wagoneer isn't big enough, Jeep has a longer version called the Wagoneer L, which is about 12 inches longer overall. Number 5. 2023 Cadillac Escalade The Escalade is the fanciest car in Cadillac's lineup. They make the inside of the car really luxurious. You can choose to fit 7 or 8 people in it. The regular Escalade has enough room for 4 or 5 people and their stuff. Even when all the seats are being used, you can still put a few small bags in the back. It has a bit less space than the Tahoe, but it's still good, with 56 cubic feet when you fold down the seats in the back. The standard engine is a strong 420 horsepower V8, and the 10-speed automatic transmission shifts smoothly, but it's not very good on gas. Getting into the Escalade can be a bit of a climb, and it's hard to see over the tall front of the car. It's not great at handling, but it's safe to drive. It's comfortable and very quiet inside. 
The fancy high-tech interior has a big screen for the radio and stuff, and it's easy to use. It's a bummer that you have to pay extra for some important safety features like automatic emergency braking on the highway and blind spot warning. At least it comes with automatic emergency braking for when people are walking around. You can also get Cadillac Super Cruise System to help with driving. Number 6. 2023 Lincoln Navigator The Navigator is very roomy inside and feels very fancy. Some nice materials like seats can give you a massage are only available in the fanciest versions, but even the basic Navigators have a lot to offer. You can choose to have 7 or 8 seats. The second row has a lot of space, but the third row is not as roomy as the bigger Expedition Max or Navigator L. There is about 56 cubic feet of space for your stuff. Even when all the seats are taken, you can still fit a few bags behind the third row and there is a small storage area under the floor. You can even get special seats in the front that can be adjusted in 30 different ways and give you a massage. These seats are very fancy and you can change how they support your thighs on the left and right separately. The Navigator is really big, which can be a problem when you're driving in traffic or trying to park, but it's really great when you need to pack a lot of stuff, like for a vacation. The short versions don't have much space in the back when all the seats are being used, but if you fold down the third row you get a lot of space. The long versions have plenty of space in the back even when all the seats are being used. Number 7. 2023 Infiniti QX80 The QX80 is a big and fancy SUV made by Infiniti, like a more luxurious version of the Nissan Armada. It can fit 8 people with a regular bench seat, but if you want more comfort you can choose captain's chairs for the second row, that reduces the seating to 7. The second row seats are really comfy and can fit 3 adults easily, but the third row seat for 3 people is not so great, it's low and not very supportive. With both back rows folded down, you get about 49 cubic feet of storage space. The inside of the QX80 is roomy and well made. Even though adults can fit back there, some other cars in the same class have more space. The QX80 also has captain's chairs in the second row, but you can change them for a regular 3 person bench seat if you want. If you have a lot of stuff to carry, don't worry, there's plenty of space inside the QX80. It has lots of small places to put things and can hold more luggage behind the third row than other similar sized cars. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed the video please drop a like on the video and of course subscribe to the channel with notifications on. We'll see you in the next one.